talk a little bit about when that been weird and um watch everything okay i can't do this carter dude that is you can totally hear that Hey, this is Pat with RacketStringTips.com, and this is a place where we talk about tennis, talk about racket stringing, kind of bring a community together, trying to build a community, and um, please leave your comments, leave questions. I'll be happy to answer those in future future videos. So today, I just wanted to highlight a little bit about Wimbledon, um, you know, heading into the second week here, and uh, I don't actually, at home, I don't have cable. Um, we stopped, we made a choice, a choice not to have cable, and so... Um, most of my TV I watch on online, and so uh, it. I was astounded by um, how awesome the we Wimbledon website was, and so um, just to kind of highlight a few things, I just wanted to kind of uh, highlight a few things and go over kind of what I found was really useful and helpful. So right away, when you go to Wimbledon.com, um, you see the latest uh, information. Anything from. Uh, the videos and oops, sorry I'm just trying to do screenshot at the same time um, yeah you get the latest shots of the day uh, things that you missed and they're all like you know two to five minute videos and what I really like is uh, the interviews with the players after after their matches so you can watch the full sometimes they're 10 minutes sometimes they're 15 minutes sometimes they're 20 minutes so you can kind of see them prior to going to the next round kind of what what the highlights were there and of course stories about things happening shots of the day just unique things and so you can kind of just sit you could probably wait spend all day just watching all these things and then of course on the right hand side you have all of the order of play of what's happening all the scores right there live actually and then there's also a section for live um, live video and if if Wimbledon is actually going on at the time that you're clicking on it you will uh, get to see some live footage if if it's not going on they have Wimbledon uh, radio which you can play and so you can kind of hear what what they're talking about and sometimes that's kind of fun to to watch too. So you can kind of really get a feel of what's happening at Wimbledon um, just by um, staying on this website. So yeah, I just wanted to just kind of highlight that a little bit. Um, there's tons of podcasts on there and you know, uh, as an example today, let's see what's new on there. Highlights, day seven, shots of the day, things that you missed, uh, Roger Federer versus uh, Lorenzo Sonega, fourth round highlights. So you can also see the highlights. So of course, if you didn't have a chance to watch the match or, or maybe you missed a match, you can go on here, watch the highlights. I really like the interviews myself and kind of just um, some history. Sometimes there's, there's videos on the history of Wimbledon. There was one actually about um, sustainability, how, how they're uh, uh, environmentally friendly. And I'll, I'll kind of, I think tomorrow I'll probably talk a little bit about that. but. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of spend a few minutes talk about um, what you can expect to find on the website. And so before I uh, head out for the day, I found, I was looking through some old things that I had from previous years in tennis, you know, tournaments and things from just random stuff. And my tacky souvenirs from Wimbledon, of course, everybody's got to have a postcard. So I have my postcard from many years ago. And I found this. This is kind of funny. This is a phone card. You might not remember phone cards, but back in the day when not everybody had a cell phone, you could get a phone card, put money on it, and then all the pay phones took it. Especially if you were going international, that took a little bit longer, I think, for all this, because they, they, they were on a different cell system and so forth. But, you know, this I used, I think, in 19... 1999. I was that was one of the times I was at Wimbledon, before I was stringing and so forth. But um, no, actually I was stringing at that time. But um, anyway, so that's my tacky souvenir of the day. So if you have any tacky souvenirs, anything fun from your Wimbledon travels, please you know share it, comment. Um, be happy to kind of hear what everybody else has. Um, 
in their souvenir box. I think over the years I've gotten rid of some of my stuff, but I've kept a few things just kind of for fun. I think I also have, um, they had some, they had a booth where you can see how quick you can serve. I think they have that at a lot of the tournaments. And so I still have that little card that says, you served at 120 miles an hour or something like that. And so um, just kind of fun stuff to remember, kind of go back a little bit in time and stuff. That's all I have today. I just wanted to highlight a little bit, kind of share with you if you haven't had a chance to, uh, you know, follow Wimbledon or stay current with what's going on this year, be sure to, you know, check that out online. You can catch yourself up pretty quickly, get just some highlights and kind of watch better as he goes into week two. So, all right, thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.